Hello, my dear students. Now we are having one question, and in this question, four long straight wire, each carrying current five ampere, are placed in plane as shown in figure. The point of intersection form a square of side five centimeter. First question is that find the magnetic field at the center of this square. Okay, so here we are having four long, very long. state wires okay carrying current let us consider this current is i1 okay and uh, this is current i2 this current is i3 and this current is i4 okay all value of this current i1 i2 i3 is equal that is 5 ampere so if we are finding the magnetic field at this point p due to this current i1 okay first we are finding the magnetic field at p point okay so the magnetic field at p point due to current i1 let us consider it is b1 which is equal to mu not i okay divided by 2 pi okay and uh, we are considering the side of this square is a so distance between this current i1 and this point p is a by 2 so we can write this a by 2 okay and the direction of this magnetic field using the right hand rule is into the plane of paper so you can use this cross sign okay same as it is the magnetic field b2 that is the magnetic field due to i2 will again equal to this b1 that is mu not i divided by 2 pi and distance is a by 2 because it is the center so this distance is a by 2 and i2 will also have distance a by 2 from this point p okay so the magnitude of magnetic field will be equal but direction is exactly opposite to the b1 which is outward outward to the plane so you can use this dot sign to represent outward direction okay and uh, you can use right hand thumb rule to find the direction of b2 same as it is if we are finding b3 it is again equal to mu not i same magnitude is there divided by 2 pi into a by 2 okay same as it is we can find due to i3 also and the direction is into the plane okay again we can use flame uh, you can use right hand thumb rule to find the direction due to this i3 at point p same as it is if we are finding magnetic field b4 due to i4 it will be equal to mu not i divided by 2 pi into a by 2 and this direction is outward to the plane so if you are calculating the magnetic field at this point p so all this magnetic field will aid and definitely direction is opposite so this b1 will cancel out by this b2 b3 will cancel out by this b4 so final the net magnetic field at point p will be equal to 0 it is equal to 0 okay so the magnetic field at point p is equal to 0 now now if you are finding the magnetic field at this q1 okay the second part is asking for the same okay what is the second part b part of this question q1 q2 q3 and q4 as uh, shown in figure this is point q1 okay this is point q2 this is q3 and this is q4 okay are situated one of on the diagonals of a square and a distance from p that is equal to the length of diagonal so if we are considering the side of this square is a so this diagonal will have length a root 2 okay you know very well what is the length of diagonal of a square it is a root 2 so from p to q1 the distance is again a root 2 it is given uh, a root 2 it is given in the question okay but we required to find the direction sorry we require to find the distance of this q1 from this i1 current that is the perpendicular distance 
okay this blue color distance so this angle is 45 degree and this distance from this point of intersection let us consider this point of intersection 1 so distance from 1 to q1 will be will be a uh, root 2 by 2 that is equal to a root 2 and if you are using this component which is perpendicular distance from this i1 of q1 so it will be this will be a by root 2 okay it is a by root 2 a by root 2 into cos 45 degree okay this if this distance is a by root 2 then and this angle is 45 degree so if we are resolving and finding this perpendicular distance it is a by root 2 into cos 45 degree okay so it will become a by root 2 and cos 45 again a by uh, 1 by root 2 okay so you will get a by 2 so this perpendicular distance between i1 and q1 is a by 2 okay so if you are finding the magnetic field at this q1 okay magnetic field at q1 okay so first we are finding magnetic field due to current i1 which is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi and distance is a by 2 okay distance is a by 2 now if you are finding the magnetic field but what is the direction of this b1 definitely if this current is flowing vertically upward so direction of magnetic field at q1 is outward okay so you can use the dot sign but if you are finding the magnetic field due to current i2 let us consider it is b2 so it is mu naught i divided by 2 pi and this distance will become 3a by 2 3a by 2 because this distance is a and this will be a by 2 so total distance is 3a by 2 okay and the direction is again outward okay and if you are finding the magnetic field b3 due to current this i3 okay so it will be equal to b1 and the direction is outward okay and if you are finding b4 it will be equal to b2 and direction is again outward so all this magnetic field will aid okay so the net, net magnetic field at q1 is equal to 2 times of mu naught i divided by 2 pi into a by 2 plus 2 times of mu naught i divided by 2 pi into 3a by 2 okay if you are solving this equation further this 2 2 will cancel out and this 2 2 again will cancel out so this uh, 2 mu naught i divided by pi a plus 2 mu naught i divided by 3 pi a okay if you are taking lcm you will get this 2 mu naught i divided by pi a as common and the bracket you will get 4 by 3 so final the magnetic field at this q1 is equal to 8 mu naught i divided by 3 pi a okay now you can put value of this i and a and mu in this expression so you will get magnetic field b at q1 is equal to 8 what is value of mu naught that is 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 and current i is 5 ampere and uh, this 3 pi as it is and the distance is 5 centimeter a having value 5 so 5 into 10 raised to power minus 2 so this pi pi will cancel out and uh, it will become 32 okay 32 into 5 divided by 3 okay divided by 3 into 5 into 10 to power uh, minus 10 to power minus 5 
so this 5 5 again will cancel out and you will get 32 by 3 into 10 raised to power minus 5 and it will be in tesla okay same as it is if you are finding the magnetic field at q3 you will get same magnetic field because if you are finding the the, the situation of q3 will be very similar to q1 but the direction of magnetic field will be into the plane of paper okay so if it is outward so the magnetic field at q3 is equal to again 32 by 3 into 10 raised to power minus 5 but it is outward so you can use sorry it is inward so you can use the cross okay now if you are finding the magnetic field at q4 or q2 so what you have to do this magnetic field due to this current i1 and this current i2 will be into the plane and same as it is the magnetic field due to current i3 and i4 will be outward okay so the magnetic field due to i1 will cancel out by magnetic field due to i3 and the magnetic field due to i1 will cancel out by the magnetic field due to i4 so the magnetic field at q2 is equal to 0 same as it is magnetic field at q4 again equal to 0 because it is very similar case to the q2 okay because the direction of this i1 is into the plane of paper and direction of this i4 the same amount of magnetic field but outward to the plane of paper so it will cancel out same as it is i Two and I3 magnetic field also will cancel out and you will get 0 at Q2 and Q4 but at Q1 and Q2 Q1 and Q3 the magnetic field due to all these four current will be outward so you have to all you have to add all this magnetic field thank you very much